No. Fuck. One more time. Okay, we're gonna start all over. <laughs> Good day, YouTube. Welcome to another episode of the Albino Random Beer Review. You have the Albino Lobster. You have James. We're drinking a beer. We're drinking uh, Picaroon's Yippee IPA, which is brewed by the Northampton Brewing Company in New Brunswick. It it well Fredericton, New Brunswick. That's why I was fucking up. Aha. Uh -huh. Too much information. Six point five percent alcohol. Ah, uh, that's the French side. Here we go. An East Coast style India Pale Ale that weaves intense hop bitterness. That's oh. just for you. Oh, fuck. And aroma throughout a blanket of malt background. I never knew that the malt was the background. I always found the malt to be the forefront. Yeah, well, well anyway. This beer may change slightly from batch to batch, which makes it impossible to properly review. Of course. <sighs> As we explore the various interpretations of the style. Now, the difference between small batch and, and macro is small batch will change from time to time because small batch uses local local hops, local malt. You know, they, they're not using the science to make everything the same. Every, every crop is going to be slightly different. Yet they're saying that every time they purposely change slightly because <laughs> they try something different. Which is okay, but if you try something different, give it a different name. So, is there a date on that so we can actually, like, you know which one you're reviewing, or, or no? Not that I see. Hmm. Shady, I don't even know if shady this is, at best. I don't even know if this is going to be good, because apparently it lived in Paul's backpack on the way home. Um, this guy's a log driver. I've been told this because I was talking about how he was a fisherman in uh, hip waders with a pike in his hand. He has a, a log poking pole, as Mac, Maxwell Stars Beer Reviews told me. He's hopping on what looks like a log with some logs behind him, but that doesn't really tell me that he's a log driver. He, he's hopping. <laughs> he's hopping, because he's, he's saying yippee. Because no, of hops. No, yeah. you know, oh, 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 oh. Tough crowd. Um, womp womp. You know, three logs isn't enough to make me think he's a log driver. No, probably not. I hear that Picaroons is really good. The main reason I don't want to try it is because it's an IPA. Let's get the bar fly out. I'm getting too drunk. You know what the problem with the bar fly is? <laughs> you being drunk? As you get more and more drunk, it gets more and more dangerous to play with. BB Barflies are the coolest openers I've ever owned. Boy Chuck's back there playing with my other one. He hasn't stopped in like 35 minutes. But, really? I'm worried I'm going to poke my eye out or something with this thing. Or mine. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm not looking forward to this. <laughs> this is, the, the honestly, the worst style of beer I could possibly be drinking at any point in time. So, if I give it a good review, that means they fucking failed at what it's supposed to be. <laughs> so... <laughs> Pick a runes, traditional ales. Oh, the color is scaring the shit out of me. You know what's scaring the shit out of me? Looks it's like swamp cloudy. water. Looks like oh, swamp is water. It, is it unfiltered? It looks that way. Oh. Hold it up to the light. You can't see the reverend. Great. Metamucil. Amazing. Uh, two fingers of head. It actually isn't a bad looking beer. It's it like poured a, well. Yeah, it poured well. It's like yeah. an amber color. Starting the amber hue, it's like in the middle of the golden amber colors. It's a nice looking beer. It looks like it looks like a traditional IPA, the color anyway, yes. and the cloudiness, but it looks like what you would expect, not like the Keats oh, IPA. Fuck, this is gonna suck. <laughs> it's exactly what it said it was. Mm -hmm. An intense hot bitterness on the aroma. Yep. Yeah, indeed. However, I do not smell the blanket of malt that it spoke of. No, no, not at all. Because that, that would actually excite me, but... <laughs> now, these are the same guys that me and the Reverend drank already that made the melon head. And I must say, their labels are awesome. That's an awesome label, too. Pretty fantastic. Oh, this is going to suck. Maybe it's going to be good. It's going to suck for me. I mean, it's going to be a better IPA than Alexander Keith, regardless of whether we like it or not. Fair enough. Keith's is not an IPA. No, it's not. No, not by any means. Now, regardless, I mean, I know so many uh, beer reviewers and 
craft beer lovers love IPAs. Really, it's not my thing. I want flavor in my beer more than bitterness. I've said it many, many times. But I will give it that no matter what this tastes like, it's going to taste better as an IPA than Keith's. Oh, without a doubt. Cheers to it. <laughs> First <laughs> shitty beer of the night. <laughs> now zoom in on James right over here. Uh oh. <laughs> Six through there, dude. Oh, that was so close. So goddamn close. And not not because it's not a good beer. It's Oh. I have an aversion to hops in its bitterness. And um that's a fucking IPA. Wow. It is what it says it is. Mhm. Mm it has a very intense hop flavor as well. Fuck, that's one way to put it. I still do not get the uh, blanket of malt it speaks of. No, no, <laughs> no not at all. Um, wow, I want to try it again, but that was rough. Hang on, maybe the first one's the worst one. I'm not sure. The second one wasn't as bad. It still was bad, but not as bad. Oh, boy, Chuck's getting the bucket. Okay, you know what? <laughs> oh no. Okay, maybe. But <laughs> for the IBU thrill seekers out there, this is definitely what you're looking for. It probably won't bother you as much as it's about to bother me. Uh, wow. I, I don't know how high IBU I would think it is. I don't think it's that high. I think it's probably like an 80. No, no, 80, somewhere between 80 and 85, maybe. But um, yeah, like I think I think my limit's at about five. So <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a bit rough for me. It's I mean, not it's, balanced. It's, I've had no. as we we spoke before we started doing reviews tonight. I was saying I've drank a lot of 100 IBU beers that I was perfectly fine with. I've drank 80 IBUs. I've drank all that stuff that I was perfectly fine with. This this isn't something I'd drink again. This this is carbonated IBU. That's it. Now, I'm going to give this a two-mark two, two mark rating because, I mean, truthfully, style-wise, it hits what it's supposed to be. Mm hmm Now, I don't know what this this beer's uh, shelf life is, <laughs> but the thing I, I like to laugh about when people make IPAs is I always hear people say, oh, the IPAs must be drank right away. They should be drank right away for the flavor. Do you guys know what an India Pale Ale was? Yeah. It was made to be transported it was the, from Britain to yeah, India. It was the only ale they could make that would last the bloody travel from England, you know, uh, you know across the waters and go to India. I mean, like, so to, for anybody to say that you have to drink an IPA right away is absolutely ridiculous. And I was here also, I wouldn't let an IPA get warm. You think they had refrigeration on those boats? Yeah, I'm not sure that they... Yeah, like, really, no. guys? Really? If you can't make an IPA that lasts, and the flavor lasts, and it lasts through warmth and cold, then you're not making your IPA properly. No, not at This all. actually, Paul brought this home for me. Paul's band was on tour, what, in June? It was June. Something yeah, like that. June. Yeah, yeah, it was middle June. Of June. Yeah, middle of June. So this is about a month and a half old. It lived in his backpack for his two-week tour. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> truthfully, style-wise, this is great. It still has everything it's supposed to have. It didn't turn bad. It didn't go bad. It, it's not what I'd choose to drink, but... Mm -hmm. So for me, style-wise, I'll give this an 8.5 out of 10. I mean, as an IPA, it's a really good IPA. It lasted. It had. It spent its time. It's been in warmth mm -hmm. and cold. <laughs> and warmth <laughs> and cold. Yeah. But for me personally, I'd probably put it at a 5. I'd drink it again but it would take a lot to make me drink it again. See, I never wanted to drink this in the first place. And the fact that I've taken more than one sip and I haven't had to use this guy. Um, uh, not the worst one I've had. I'm going to keep going though, hang on. As I keep sipping, I, there's... Um, 
it becomes gentle, like almost like um, uh, the bitterness like numbs you, and then you're you're getting all the floral. I, I get that the more the more I try to drink it, and the yeah. floral's not bothering me at all. But the bitterness at the beginning, because it's it's not what I like, is uh, you know it would it well fuck me up. <laughs> I didn't want I didn't want that shit in my mouth. But um, I um, if you know for all the IPAs that I've, I've tried uh, so far. Um, if somebody said you have to drink an IPA, this might be the first one on my list because I'm like, I think I can finish this glass. I in think truth, I can. In I truth, can. if somebody said I had to drink an IPA, a true Keith. <laughs> Even though it's not an I, IPA, I, I don't count. It. I don't count it. No, I don't do count I. it. I don't Even count when it. I reviewed Keith's, I said this is not an IPA. Yeah. But since it says IPA on the bottle, if somebody said I had to drink an IPA or I'd die, Fair enough. Keith's would be my second choice. choice. Hater. So, yeah, yeah. Well, it's just so, like if somebody said I had to drink a Pilsner, I'm not a huge Pilsner fan. I can drink Pilsners. I love Pilsner. But I'd go yeah. with a blue. What about cream yeah. ale? <laughs> what about cream ale? Cream ale. Cream ale. Well, well that's all over the 50. board. You're going to do a little oh, 50? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> but, okay, you know what? Um, definitely two tiered. I mean, would I drink this? No. For my personal preference, I would. I would I, this, this is pretty much a two. Um, but for an IPA and the fact that I'm still holding it and drinking it, um, eh, probably about. I'm gonna say about a seven and a half. I think on this one, because I can. <laughs> eight five seven five. Alrighty, YouTube. So there you go. Eight point five and a seven point five for as an IPA. We both realize that as a style, it hits what it's supposed to be. I know what the style supposed to be. It I just can do isn't that. what I don't want to drink. Yeah, no, I'm against it. I just, I know it, and bravo. Yeah, good.